And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the default overlays. You can use them on photos and on text. Let us use a photo first. I press Ctrl D to have a copy. The copy is selected. I go to filters, overlays and now we've got a huge list. Some of these overlays work pretty well on photos, others don't. For example, this one doesn't create good results for photos. There's a method that you can use to adjust these overlays. Just have your original copied and make sure the copy is in the same place on top of the original. Select the copy and then add a filter to it. Let me pick a different example. I press Ctrl D, so I've got the copy on top. Filters, overlays, and I'll have the clouds overlay. And now use the fill and stroke menu and play around with the opacity. So this is a method that you can use to play around with the intensity of the overlay. Some of these filters, as I've said, they don't work well on photos, so let me create a text. I hold Ctrl and Shift when I size that up. And I'll have it selected, filters, overlays, and this time I use a zebra filter. That works well on text, but if I add that to a photo, you can see the results are practically not really usable. So some of these overlays are good for photos, some are good for text. Just play around with it and use the method that I've shown you here on a fill and stroke with the opacity to adjust them. And this is how you can use the default overlays in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.